Hello everybody, Vizzy here with a review of Gate Season 1. It's a really good show. Um, I'm not sure Season 1 is over yet. Oh, it is. Um, it's really good. It's 12 episode season. Uh, there's also season 2 which I'm going to watch next. It's going yeah. to be great because they've currently set up a thing and I'm really glad they made it. If they had quit here, I would have been pissed off. But whatever. Yeah. Um, gorgeous animation in combination with a quite compelling storyline of a gate to another world. Mm-hmm. Of course, this set upsets, you know, politics in our world as well as there's things all, in the other world. things like, like, like politics and war and yeah. death and murder. And I like, like this fantasy there's comedy. I like this it's, fantasy um, world. Kind of. There's also a bit of comedy, yeah. It, it it's, an enjoy, it's an enjoyable show that's very well animated. Pusel. I'd say it's a very strong or a weak... Seven or eight out of ten. Uh, yeah. I'd say shake it out if you've got the time. We'll see how season two is. See ya. Hello everybody, Vissy here with a review. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. A falling telephone. <laughs> Oh, uh, if anyone ever makes a montage of this, it fails, that, that gotta go in it. Um, and it's gonna be an hour video. Um, this is a really good show. Uh, I forgot to upload the first Vicious Watch, so I'll be uploading these two together, possibly as one video. I might actually do that. Um, but this is a great show. Uh, it has a lot of politics in season two. Whereas season one is a lot of setup more, I feel. You got your comedy, you know, you got your stunning visuals because this is a really well animated show. Um, but yeah, season two is a lot of politics. And for someone who like Tim is, that's great. For me, eh, I can enjoy it. It's very well made. Um, yeah, you get to see what the politics lead to as well. Yeah. It's not just talking in a court. Yeah, you also... You get to see the battles and all that. Yeah, and even if... Yeah, if uh, someone thinks, oh, politics is gonna be boring. Does a Japanese military invading a fantasy city with paratroopers sound boring to you? If so, stay clear of. But otherwise, this is a strong 8 out of 10 watch this show. If nothing else, just for visuals, they're Freaking great. Yeah. So, the, yeah. There are some things like Tales of Zestra. That show, story wise, pretty lacking. Visuals, freaking 10 out of 10. Yeah, this is a. You should watch this. If you got the time, it's definitely. It's very enjoyable. It's, it's interesting as well. It's not your standard fantasy. It's a, pretty much a standard fantasy world. Nothing yeah. new there, but. It's a very interesting plot. How and things uh, effect, are affected yeah. by the modern world. Yeah, and if there's a season three ever coming, which I kind of hope not, because this it feels very... It has a good ending. Yeah, it feels, it feels like... The, it feels concluded. And it feels like the writer, due to the things that they did in their end, with the characters, I'm not going to try to say anything yeah. more, because it would spoil, but... Yeah, I it's believe great. It was, you should watch it yourself. I think they are first decided to yeah. stop, end the story. Yeah, I feel like it's an end. If nothing, else, if there comes to season three, it should be centered. I'd say you should do a time skip of like three generations or so, and uh, I won't spoil it. But there is some plot information about the gate that comes up in season two uh, that you gotta watch to understand what I'm meaning. But yeah, this is an eight out of ten show. Should definitely recommend checking it out. See ya.